What's up, YouTube? This is the captain. I'm here to review Ubuntu Hardy Heron 8.04, which I think is probably the worst name for an operating system I've ever heard. Really, I can't think of a worse one. I mean, I live in Vista, California, and it's a nice little town, I suppose. But, you know, it has its problems. And Microsoft named their operating system that, and it's still a much better name than Ubuntu. Just that name alone bothers me. Hardy Heron also bothers me. And 8.04, okay, that's the part that makes sense. 2008, came out in April. Done with all that. Anyway, let's just get into it. All I've really done here is just changed a few settings in Compiz and changed the, uh, changed the background and uh, changed a couple colors. Um, really, it's really easy to do. It's just up here in the system menu under advanced desktop settings. Um, I can show you how. It takes 10 seconds. Um, but this is Firefox. It works like normal. YouTube works like normal. You know, you got your MySpace, no problem. But then, uh, this is the mode if you click, uh, if you hold Control and Alt and then click on the left mouse button, you can go and, you know, you got a whole other desktop over here. Here you got Open Office. I like Open Office better than Microsoft Office, but some people are particular. Whatever. You might be able to get a version of uh, Microsoft Office to run a wine anyway. And then I've got Skype going. You know, Skype works, no big deal. You can watch movies. You can hear the charming strain of David Attenborough. And this is another function of Compiz that's pretty cool. You can actually zoom way in like this. This is really handy for YouTube too. This is something I like about Ubuntu. This is something Ubuntu gets right. Compiz, basically. Oh, little baby well, isn't that nice? And then, um, let's see, what are some of the other features that, uh, I mean, it's basically got everything you need if you're a regular user. Um, it's got GIMP to edit pictures, it's got Pigeon for instant messaging, it's got uh, a BitTorrent client built in automatically, although I'm not a huge fan. Um, you can burn CDs real easily. I'd say everything is easier than Windows or or Mac, really, as far as like the basic functions of a computer. There's some things that you're not going to be able to do, though. I mean, you're not going to be able to play Grand Theft Auto San Andreas or, you know, some stuff like that. Maybe not quite as right as you'd like, although they're working on that, and you may be able to in the next version. But that's my review of Ubuntu Hardy Heron. Um... All in all, I would recommend it for just about everybody. Um, hardcore gamers are going to want to stick with Windows. There's no question about it. Um, people who have one certain program that they rely on might have to stay on Windows. But for everybody else who just needs to surf the internet and watch YouTube videos and listen to music, this is a, a safer, more stable, more advanced way to go. And it's really, it's really pretty easy to set up.